What's going on Port fans? Welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be talking about the 2025 fixture. It's officially released. Get your calendars out, mark the dates, get the key games in, make sure you book off the events and get ready for a big season and a fixture that is absolutely terrible. Not gonna lie, we have been shafted. <laughs> there is no other way of putting it. The fixture has a lot of key details and I've written some key frames that I want to focus on uh, today in this video. So keep up to date. I hope you've had a look at the fixture. I'm gonna post it here now as I look through at some of these. And um, we'll talk about obviously round one. Uh, and I mentioned it in a uh, TikTok that um, we're playing Collingwood at the MCG. Uh, so that's gonna kick us off for the first round of the year. It uh, obviously will be played on Saturday, March 15th at 7.35. So we've got a Saturday night game at the MCG which will be a quite interesting one, um, obviously against the Dan, the Dan Houston Cup. Our first home game of the year is going to be against Richmond. That's a Saturday 3.45 game uh, on March 22nd. Uh, round three will be our one and only primetime slot, which will be uh, the uh, Thursday night game against Essendon. Uh, then we follow up with St Kilda at uh, Sunday 2.50 p.m., uh, on, for uh, the Adelaide Oval game there, round four and round five, we play Hawthorne for gather round and the rest as follows will fall in suit. Games to note, um, I've put down here. So Doug Nichols round will be played against Geelong. That's a 3.45 game. Uh, we've also got uh, Anzac round against North for the first time since 2019. We'll be traveling to Adelaide. That's a 3.45 game on Saturday as well. Um, we also have the first showdown of the year. That's a Saturday night game, obviously against the Crom. We're unveiling their new logo to our home game as well. So that'll be round nine on May 10th. There are a few games there that you can note, obviously as long uh, as well as with round one and round two being our first home game. Yeah, it's shit, isn't it? It's really shit. We've already clocked up, I think, three or four, um, or four or five, actually, of those Saturday Twilight games. And I had an inkling because the AFL was like, oh, this is the new primetime slot, Saturday Twilight. We'll throw on a Sunday night game, which they'll call primetime anyway, and give us one Thursday night game, which is diabolical. How can a team that finishes in the top four, makes a prelim, gets regularly good, consistent crowds, and doesn't get a single Friday night game. Shafted. Us, Gold Coast and uh, GWS and the only ones not getting a Friday night game in 2025 for the first 15 rounds. Now, I say the fixture is shit. I'm just thinking the first 15 rounds because they decided to go with another floating fixture again, which is terrible. And this is my rant. The floating fixture doesn't work. It's as simple as that. It's, it's not COVID anymore. We're not hindered by restrictions. People want to know what dates to lock in for their plans to travel or plans to put events or whatever the case may be. 15 rounds only takes us to the middle of June. There is people trying to plan weddings. There is people trying to plan birthdays, 21st, 30th, 18th, whatever the case may be. And the AFL is sitting there and going, yeah, let's have a floating fixture again. We'll see how certain teams are doing by midway through the year. And then we'll go, okay, now you can have the rest of the fixture because your team's not doing as well. That's not equalization because a team like Hawthorne or a team like Collingwood, who are prime time, you know, draw cards, and in the end they might be sitting thirteenth and fifteenth. I'm not saying they will be. Hypothetically, they could be sitting thirteenth and fifteenth, and you're going to come to me and say, "Oh, oh, okay, you know, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe they shouldn't get any more Friday night games." Or they could be sitting first and second, and on top of their four or so, um, four or so Friday night games or Thursday night games they've got already, they'll throw in another five or six. And all of a sudden, they got eight or nine for the year. It just doesn't work. Equalization is so much more. And that's my little rant about it all. I'm sick of being Port Adelaide's being screwed. Apparently, we've got the second hardest fixture of the year. The second hardest fixture for Port Adelaide next year. Double up games for the year next year will be against the Swans, the Cats, the Hawks, the Blues, the Crows, and the Dockers. The only bottom six side being there in, is the Crows. And that's... I mean, they're not the hardest... Bottom six, they are the, probably the hardest bottom six side you can play. But at the same time, that's, you know, it just, I'm not saying we should be getting easy fixture. We did finish top four. I think what I'm trying to get at is we sit here and we go, all right, well, we've got, you know, double up games that are difficult. Where's our prime time slots? You give us a Sunday night against a Hawks outfit. You're not painting the story to be, oh, it's Ken's plane and the, uh, 
and the semi final in 2024, or Dan, round one is blatantly obvious. It's the Dan Houston Cup, and they're throwing that out there. It's insane. So for us to sit here and, and get this fixture, it's kind of hard done by. I think a lot of Port fans will be definitely feeling the, uh, the full effect of the fixture. But in saying that, there are some things to look forward to. Um, we do play in Ballarat and Launceston, which is not something to look forward to. Um, we basically travel to every state and territory there is besides the NT. That's not something to look forward to. I'm trying to find something here in my notes that you might actually look forward to. I feel sorry for the fact that, um, you know, the, the, the Victorian fan base, you know, the Victorian supporters, the cheer squad over there, they, they get shafted with one Marvel game and one MCG game. And, you know, we don't know. We have one MCG game for the year next year, two games at Marvel scheduled, and the rest are travelled around. We do get... Um, we do get uh, consecutive travelling blocks. So the positive of the fixture is we might have three home games in a row. The negative is we'll then also have three home, uh, away games. It's just weird how they've structured it. I know the first, we get three home games inside the first five games, which is good. None of them are a showdown either. So that's really good. Um, and I think everything else falls into place. And the last game of the year will fall against the Gold Coast Suns at the Adelaide Oval. So we end of the year... Um, at home, which is always a positive. We haven't done that, I think, in a while. Um, actually, no, I lied. 2023, we did that. So, um, all interesting. Everything's a bit muddly in here. I don't, I don't quite like the 3:45 Saturday time slot because of football for me personally. But I'm sure people play sport or people have uh, events on and everything. And it's just an it's un unattainable sort of time slot. I do like the 2.50 time slot on a Sunday. We've got a couple of those. Uh, we play Melbourne and St Kilda, uh, which we get. I do like them. Um, obviously, we're travelling to Optus Stadium to play Fremantle on a Saturday night. Um, there's a game in Monica Oval. We play the Giants, so we don't play them at uh, the Giants Stadium. So we're back in Canberra. Um, we're obviously, as I said, Ballarat, uh, Launceston. You know, it's all, it's all crazy to me. We go to the Gabba, GMHBAs, we're getting a visit. So... Yeah. Let me know what your thoughts are, Port fans, because this fixture um, is anything but. But, in saying that, it's brought to you by the Ken plane, so... Mm, yum! We're going to be travelling for Ken. Maybe for the last time. The last fixture Ken will have to look at for Port Adelaide. Who knows? Who knows? In saying that, looking forward to it. You know, you can... Um, we'll always be angry at the fixture, and then next thing you know, it'll come round one. It's like, killer. Let's get into footy. Uh, it always happens, so... Interesting times. Interesting, interesting times. I'm looking forward to it, though. God's sake, man. Hopefully we play well in the first 15 rounds and we're gifted a few more um, prime time slots. Although the games we play at home towards the back end of the year, Carlton, West Coast, Adelaide as an away game, Fremantle and Gold Coast, don't scream Friday night games to me at, at home. The Carlton one could potentially be that. Anything else... Yeah, they're against uh, opposition that are interstate as well. So I don't see that occurring at all. So fun times. Fun, fun times. Let me know in the comments below, Port fans, your thoughts about the fixture. That's what I've gathered um, from all of this. It's going to be pretty exciting um, to see what occurs from here. Book it in your calendars regardless. I don't like the fixture. It's a tough draw, the second hardest draw um, behind Brisbane. Um so yeah, interesting times. Although very well done on Port Adelaide's release. Um, I did like the fixture reveal. I thought it was very, very cute. So <laughs> um, very well done to the graphics team in Port Adelaide. So make sure you get your membership, sign up. We're going again. No complaining. Well, we have to complain, but we can complain and still sign up. So this is not endorsed by Port Adelaide, by the way. This is just me. You know, I want to see you all. Let's do it. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port Adelaide AFL content to come your way in 2025. The draft is not too far away. That is next week. The AFLW uh, game against the Hawks this weekend in the semi-final. Get around that as well. Thank you for watching. My name's Anthony. And as always, come the pair.